For 2022, OSHA inspections rose closer to pre-pandemic levels as companies across most industries witnessed record growth, thanks to high consumer spending. Naturally, an increase in inspections also means a greater likelihood of businesses receiving citations and penalties. And some businesses were hit harder than others. Let's take a look at OSHA's top six most expensive fines for 2022. Number 1. ALJ Home Improvement – $1.3 million OSHA has cited this New York roofing contractor after a history of inspections from 2019 through 2021 found dozens of fall protection violations during three separate visits. Inspectors found violations that exposed workers to falls from heights of 18 to 20 feet and additional hazards exposing employees to head and eye injuries from falling or flying debris. The company also experienced a fall-related fatality in 2019. Number 2. My Auto Store – $1.2 million This auto parts plant in Camden, New Jersey, led a variety of safety hazards and work habits slide for years. For example, OSHA inspectors found a damaged circuit breaker was strapped to a pole with a bungee cord instead of being repaired by a licensed electrician. OSHA investigated the manufacturer after an employee's hand was crushed in an auto lift that started suddenly. Inspectors determined the cause was a lack of lockout tag-up procedures and controls, prohibiting the use of sparking tools near gasoline vapors, removing boxes and other obstacles blocking emergency exits, protecting employees from being caught in auto lifts, providing workers with PPE, training workers on using fire extinguishers, addressing various electrical, noise, machine guarding, crushing and flammable material hazards and affixing guardrails to stairways and open areas of elevated platforms. Number 3. Knox US, $1.2 million A serial violator, luxury vinyl tile flooring manufacturer, Knox, was fined more than $1.2 million after an employee's finger was first caught in a rotating spindle on a plastic winding machine. His body was then pulled around the machine spindle. The worker, who had been on the job just six weeks, suffered multiple severe injuries that required surgery. OSHA also fined the company for exposing workers to machine hazards, lacking PPE, and failing to train workers on safety hazards and precautions. This is the seventh worker injury related to lockout tagout at the company since 2017. Knox is in OSHA's severe violator enforcement program. Number 4. DME Construction Associates – $1.2 million OSHA investigated DME construction following the death of an employee who fell through an unprotected skylight. During the investigation, OSHA also found that the employer exposed workers to falls of up to 22 feet from other unguarded roof openings and edges and failed to provide employees with any personal fall protection equipment. Before this inspection, OSHA had cited DME seven times since 2011 for fall-related hazards, with more than $50,000 in unpaid fines. DME was placed into OSHA's Severe Violator Enforcement Program. Number 5. JDC Demolition Company – $1.2 million OSHA began an investigation of JDC Demolition Company after a heavy equipment operator working on the eighth floor of the Government Center garage in downtown Boston died when the partially demolished floor collapsed. The 11,000-pound excavator and its operator fell 80 feet, resulting in the worker's death. It was their first day on the job. OSHA found JDC failed to adequately train its workers on the demolition plan and safety management system to help them recognize and avoid unsafe conditions. OSHA also found that JDC demolition deviated from the demolition plan by imposing unsafe loads in the form of heavy equipment on the partially demolished 7th, 8th, and 9th floors. The demolition plan prohibited the placement of heavy equipment on partially demolished floor bays. Number 6. Charm Builders – $1.1 million Charm Builders already had a long history of disregarding workplace safety standards before the latest OSHA inspection revealed employees working at dangerous heights without fall protection. OSHA found that Charm allowed its employees to work at heights of up to 28 feet without required fall protection. The agency issued citations for 12 violations, 6 egregious willful, 5 repeat, and 1 serious for failing to ensure the use of fall protection not training employees on fall hazards, allowing unsafe use of portable ladders, and not making sure workers used safety glasses. 
This was the 12th time Charm was cited since 2009 for violations related to fall hazards. The company was placed in the Severe Violator Enforcement Program. Do you believe these citations are enough to promote change within the organizations being fined, or do you think that OSHA should do something more? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you on the next video.